As I was prepping for a new up and coming photo shoot, I decided I needed to try out the 4K 120 frame per second feature of the Sony FX30, since my Nikon Z6 only does 4K 30. And I realized while I was looking at the settings in the camera, just how low a bitrate the 4K 120 is when you break it down to the frame level. So you have a couple of choices with 4K 120 and the FX30. You have XAVC HS at 200 megabits per second, 420 10-bit, and 280 megabit per second at 422 10-bit. You also have in the S and Q settings, the uh, intra codec, the SI, as it shows up in the menu, and that's 600 megabits per second, 422 10-bit. And it sounds like a lot, but that would be a healthy amount if it was a lower frame rate, because you have to divide all that up by the amount of frames. And at 120, that's a lot of frames. So 280 megabit per second, that's only 291 kilobytes per second. 200 megabit per second, it, oh no, sorry. I meant to say 291 kilobytes per frame. There we go. 200 megabit per second is 208 kilobytes per frame. And then the largest, highest bit rate is 600 megabits per second. And that's only 625 kilobytes per frame. And to put that in perspective, if we look at, for example, the Canon R5, you can record 4K 120 at up to 1.8 gigabit per second. So that comes out to a normal two megabytes per frame. And put it another way, if you take a roughly 4K resolution image on your iPhone or your Samsung Galaxy or P Google Pixel, that comes out to around 1.5 megabytes per frame, because it's a still frame. And I, I think they're good quality, but I gotta say, though I haven't tried out this footage yet because I only have an SD card and to record 4K 120 with the FX30, you need a CF Express Type A card. And CF Express Type A is proprietary to Sony. They're the only ones that use it right now. Everyone else uses CF Express Type B, like I have for my Nikon Z6, for example. Why Sony had to do that, you know, beats me. But I'm gonna have to purchase one to try it out. I'm just thinking, I do really hope, without, without you know, pixel peeping too much, that a 4K resolution still frame of 100, 4, 120 frames per second at 208 kilobytes per frame is gonna look good. I can certainly take a good guess that if you're gonna be doing really heavy color grading, this may not cut it, considering the first thing to go is banding and macro blocking if you have a highly, highly compressed image. So something to keep in mind if you plan on extensively using 4K 120 with your Sony FX30.